Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do a day in my life because it is December 23rd and I have a hair appointment today. Anyways, I'm gonna bring you guys with me today because I haven't really done a day in my life and so we're just gonna vlog today and more specifically get my hair done. I'm gonna go really light because as you can see, my roots are really dark right now and my hair used to be really light like back in like May and April and I really like how it looked then. So I'm gonna go back to that and I'm so Super excited. We're gonna see Megan again and yeah, stay tuned. Okay. <laughs> Let's ignore the mess, but this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing just like a little matching beige sweat set with my Air Forces. I'm taking this pink bag because it's the biggest one I have and I need to carry everything. And a sweater because I get cold. Guys, okay, so I washed my car last night at like 7 p.m. I was trying to look at the weather so I could see if it was gonna rain or not. Um Turns out it rained. I didn't get to see because the weather up wasn't fucking loading. And so, washed my car, dried it all down, and it rained. So, that's where I'm at in life right now. Yeah, we're gonna go to Starbucks because that's the most important stop. And I have to do that before everything else. And I'm not sure if I wanna get a coffee or a tea. I may just have to do a coffee, but I'm also hungry. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Let's see how much I have on my card. Usually I just like go by how much I have on my Starbucks card already, unless it's not enough for even like one drink. Let's see. I have $14. That means I have enough for a food item and a drink. Before I go, I have to put on some tunes. Oh, my camera's falling. We're gonna start with this song. The lady complimented my makeup right now at Starbucks and I feel so nice, special. I'm excited to get my order. This is the, the order that I was getting at Disneyland for like four days straight when I didn't like get breakfast because my boyfriend's not a breakfast person so I would just get food at Starbucks. It's a chicken caprice with an ice chicken espresso with no classic, four vanilla, two white mocha, and vanilla sweet cream cold foam and it's gonna be so good. It's like a literally a whole breakfast. Um, it's fucking delicious. So yesterday Isaiah and I were watching the Kanye West recorded like concert that he did in LA like a few, I think it was weeks ago honestly at this point. Um, I don't remember but it was the show he did with Drake and I was just like reminded of how much I love him. So I'm like reappreciating his music and um, yeah, it's great. Pull up in a monster automobile gangsta. Oh, just another lonely night. Are you willing to sacrifice your life? Okay, we're here at the salon. Okay, so. See what Megan thinks. Um, I should probably be pulling up some rapid pictures. Okay, guys. Mm -hmm. Hello. This is Megan. You guys have met Megan before, but today we're gonna do a really big transformation because, as you can see, I have a lot of like roots in my hair today. Yes. It's been what, like two months since yes. I've been here? Yeah. Yes. So, definitely need a touch up. We're gonna do hopefully more than a touch up. I wanna show you the pictures that I have yes. in mind. So, I was saying I really like, like how bold the money piece is here. Mm -hmm and like kind of how bright the entire head is like yeah. there's like brights going up to the root but it's a little more root just adding to more blonde through your ends yeah how yeah. just how bright it is throughout maybe like like how bold this is just do like a little like how these are defined up here i like that too okay cool i'm excited you guys I'm are really too. gonna like it because it's gonna be a big transformation and this is like i think day four here so <laughs> i didn't see the need to wash it one thing with popping your money pieces we have to just be careful yeah, um, I think they're, it's like they're right already, but just, just add to them. Add to them, fix the roots. <laughs> yeah, they're so grown out. Mm -hmm. It grows it so, grows fast. so fast. Every time you trim my hair, when I come back, it's like back to the length yes. it was. So and it feels like it's getting healthier. So I haven't been using as much purple shampoo. I think that's like really it's too clarifying. Yeah. So how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks. 
because I just actually finished the semester like the beginning of the month. Oh my god, good for you, girl. And finishing school was like so stressful. I, yeah, I'm sure. I was struggling last minute because to stay in the nursing program, you need a 3.5 GPA. So I finished with it handled. a 3.71. Oh my god, that's good. Yay, thanks. <laughs> it was so stressful. Fun colors. Yes. Yeah. Whatever it takes, real. I'm so glad you haven't wanted to hop on this trend of everybody going dark. No, I've been because so tempted, and I'm like, I just want to chop it and go dark, but I'm gonna miss the blonde. Okay, I know. Are we taking? You said we can take like an inch off the bottom. <coughs> uh, or maybe you? like half an inch. I really want to keep the length, but I know you have to trim some off if we're gonna bleach yeah. it. So I'm gonna focus on is keeping dimension in your back and bottom, um, and then we're gonna pop a lot of the pieces in the bottom. At least don't have a lot of dimension. You don't look too solid, and then we're gonna like. Really blonde really it up. I'm so yeah. excited, you guys. So, we're going really blonde today. As much as your hair can take. Yeah. I'll be turning 19 in March. I'm scared. Oh my gosh, girl. I just turned 18 when I met you. I think. Yeah. I know it was your um your birthday was coming up, wasn't it? Or I think it was right like, after my yeah, birthday. So you look so pretty with like the blonde hair. Thank you, you look pretty regardless, but you know. Thank you. Just, I think it compliments, like, especially the way you do your makeup and all. You know what I mean? Thank you. Like, and all, like, even the tones you were wearing today. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, very it's just all beige. I love yes, it. Yes, <laughs> I love it. It's like all the neutrals. Well, I was looking at pictures of myself in like May, and like, I was like, not really feeling myself lately, and I'm like, why is this? And I'm like, my hair was just so much brighter. I think that's what it was. Yeah. I like being blonde. Does your boyfriend like it? Yeah. I ask him, like, you like my hair dark or you like it blonde? And he's like, I like it now, like it's like nice and different. What are your parents think about your hair? My mom really liked it when I first got it. I mean, she doesn't really like care too much. No, she's like, Your hair looks nice, baby. I'm like, Thanks, and then that's <laughs> it. And that's it. Yeah, my mom like hates that I have lighter hair now. Uh, why do they care so much? I don't know. My mom's like, <laughs> That's not what you were born with. I'm like, Mom, I'm a hairstylist. <laughs> you have to do something fun, kind of like do. advertise your, your work. My work, yeah, exactly. Did you get your nail done for holiday? I did them myself. Oh my god, they look so good. Thank you. You know how they have the gel X extensions? Yes. I, I bought the clear tips, but they're like the entire nail. Right. And they're already super long and like shaped. I just cut them and I don't have to shape them. And then I attach them with the gel and cure it under the light. This is the first time I've done it with the it gel. Looks really good. Thank you. And then I paint them with the gel polish. I was like, oh my god, they look like done. done. Yeah. Adding ton of a ton of blonde up here. Yes. In the roots. It's about to get blonde up here, baby. It's gonna look so good. I'm so excited. The little uh, sideburns, you bleached those to the root last time and they were like grown out like almost two inches. I feel like my hair and my nails grow out super fast. Mm -hmm. It's so annoying. Only in the sense that when I have like work done, yeah. We're almost done with the top four. Well, kind of. We've made significant progress. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. I look so like excited. a crazy person, but. It looks like you're about to get satellites or something. From a solar panel. <laughs> Guys, so me and Megan are talking. I don't know if you, I think I've mentioned this before, but she makes music and this woman's coming out with a new album. Can you believe it? Do you have a name for it yet? Um, I'm gonna call it Unapologetic. Oh, yes. How many tracks does it have? It's got 13 unreleased tracks. Okay. I've been working on it for like almost a year, so I'm super excited. That's so exciting. So wait, it was like last year, obviously this time last year. Yes. Was it around Christmas? Um, January, so it's been almost a year, but by the time I release it, it'll probably be like over a year. I'm gonna play 
her song called Bel Air. I think I think this is the one you played for me last time. I said this last time, but your voice really resembles Ariana, I feel like. Oh my god, thank you. She's like a huge inspiration to me. I just love all her new direction of music. Yes, I love her new music and like the so aesthetic good. of her makeup and stuff yeah, recently. Yeah, she looks so good. So what, what's the release date for your new album? Um, so right now it's kind of up in the air, but we're shooting for the beginning or end of April. That's very soon, actually. Yeah, if you think about it, it definitely is soon. It's like crazy. It's already coming up like that. I'm like so excited though. I'm gonna leave a link for you guys to check out her music because I'm excited to hear her album and I want you guys to hear it too. And definitely give her a follow. A multi-talented queen, wow. Oh my gosh, you're the best. Thanks, girl. <laughs> I try, I try. I've been up since like five in the morning. Oh, you look good. You don't look tired. I have had a, a lot of coffee <laughs> and everyone's been nice to me this morning like every person I came across has complimented me and I'm like oh you're nice oh my god that's well, good I feel like everybody's been miserable this holiday season oh I mean I like to like be as nice to people as possible I feel like yeah, people can feel it when you just like genuinely ask them like how's your day <laughs> it makes a difference in people's day yeah, especially at the drive throughs I feel like people get so, so annoyed with all the asshole customers mm -hmm. that they're like, the nice people, they're like, oh wow, refreshing. Yes, right? Especially Starbucks. I don't know how people have like the nerve to be so rude in public. Yeah. I would never. Especially to someone like doing a service for you. Dude, you'd be so surprised how rude people are sometimes. Do you ever have any like Karen assholes? Okay, so I used to have a bunch of Karen assholes and then they like... I like manifested them to go away. They did. They're like shoe fly. <laughs> shoe fly, go. Do not come back. It's like if you're like miserable and unhappy, like you do not need to be. Because then they're going to be miserable and happy no matter what you do to them. Yeah, like, they're just looking for a, a, reason to a fight to pick. Yeah. yeah. I just don't tolerate that well anymore. Have you seen that video of the hairstylist? It's been viral for a few years, but it was like this girl. She kind of sounds like Shailene Woodley, but she was, uh, I think her name's Robin. She goes, no, Robin, you can't talk to me or my assistant like that. Cause like, yes. and she like, the lady like swung at her. I'm like, dude, I can't even imagine. I would have yeah. let her hit me and then I would have sued her ass. Dude, and the fact <laughs> that she got it on camera was like the best part. Oh, I know. Her response was the best thing. I don't go to Starbucks and like, you made my drink wrong. I'm having a hard time. I start Looking swinging, swinging at, the at them. <laughs> <laughs> swinging at the baristas. Like. Imagine. All right, we're hitting the bathroom because Honey Girl has to pee. It's going pretty well. <laughs> Look crazy. I'm going to go potty. See you later. Right, I was no just idea. under the dryer for like an hour. Can I do? What are you? You looking like you needed something? Um, sorry, fans. Look how blind. It's a, just a blowout. My girls for. I love when you clean my scalp. It always looks so I know, right? good. Guys, look how blonde it is <laughs> before it's done. I'm sitting in some toner so that I don't look orange. It is 12.27. I've been here 30 hours. No, 
feels like this light's an advantage because it's like common for plants. Yeah, okay, like in here, let's head on over. the video on YouTube. Yes. <laughs> Time to take pictures. He wants to focus. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh my God. It looks so cute. I love it. Like actually love. It. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you guys. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm literally obsessed with my hair. She did an amazing job and like the tone is perfect. Can you, can you like tell me that this is okay? Finally made it to the mall. It was a hassle to park. I don't know why it's so busy. Maybe because it's like two days before Christmas, but whatever. I'm gonna go in, shop around. Being in the mall kind of stresses me out, so I don't really know that I want to vlog in there. I may or may not, so I guess we'll see like based on this next clip. Thank you. 